Yo, what's up guys? Kai here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean The Last Hope. Flip. Previously, we fought a tentacle monster. And as we all know, in order to have a good sci-fi JRPG, you need four things. Spaceships, giant robots, or androids, cat girls, and tentacle monsters. Always. Afterwards, we made our way back to the landing point here, only to find that a mysterious base popped up out of nowhere, so let's check it out. Ah, it's a prefabricated Eldarian base. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Hey, what's up? Are you inside my head? I was just about to say, in order to advance the story, we need to go talk to the captain. But first, we should take a look around and get some treasure. We'll be putting those lemons to use soon enough. Oh, and before we get too far into this place, it is good to know that everything here is potentially missable. So what I like to do on the first visit is grab all of the items and do everything that I can now, and then when we come back later, wrap up any loose ends before they become permanently unavailable. Here we get a little bit of money. That's such a strange number, 193. I wonder if there's any significance to that. See, it could be worse. Our main character could be named after this guy. Alright, let's head north now to grab the last of the items outside. It's tucked away here in the shadows. We get our first skill manual, and using those will allow characters to, well, learn a skill. In this case, scan enemy can only be taught to phase, so we're going to give that to him. And basically what it does is, it's like the Libra spell from Final Fantasy games. For 1 MP, we can see the enemy's HP, elemental weaknesses, and elemental resistances as well. And if we talk to this guy, we can get a refresher course on any of these systems here, should we need it. I'll do the best I can. The map is shaped like a Y. It could be a little confusing if it's your first time playing, but it's not too bad. So let's go north to the communications room and talk to the captain. I see. So the Aramia and her crew were... But why? There's nothing unusual. Something definitely happened on the Aramia, sir. The surviving crewmen said as much. And then, there's the matter of the unidentified life form we encountered out there on the beach. I believe there must be some connection between them. Supreme Commander Gagan, may I request an analysis of this object? Very well, I'll see to it. The matter interests us greatly. So, were you surprised? About the aliens, or rather, extraterrestrials. Surprised is not the word, sir. Just look at this base they're constructing. Indeed. All of this is thanks to the Aldarian's scientific capabilities. Sir, you were aware of their existence, weren't you? USTA Command and we captains were, yes. So Crow knew too. He's good at that. You never can tell what secrets he's hiding. Unlike someone I know who's like an open book. Cute. With matters being as they are, we've decided to join with the Eldarians in a co-exploration effort. USTA headquarters has approved the plan. Consider yourselves informed. Sir. Understood. Effective immediately, I would like you to form a composite team with FaZe here. FaZe may be young, but he has incredible potential. What he mainly lacks is experience, and this will be an excellent opportunity for him to gain some. If it's not too much trouble, may I ask you to work with him? It's far from trouble, sir. He saved our lives with his powers. It was almost like magic. Ah, yes. Symbology. That is but one of Faze's many talents. I do hope you'll help me in bringing out the rest of them. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. And I. Uh... 
You all must be tired from your efforts. Feel free to get some rest. Come talk to me when you're ready to accept your next assignment. Yes, sir. Whoa. <sighs> Out of my way, civilian. What? What's with him? He's scary. That uniform. He must be with the 13th Eldarian Independent Armored Division. A captain, it would seem. I've never seen him before. But you don't hear very nice rumors about the 13th. <sighs> Man, that guy means business. Bet he'd slit his mama's throat for a nickel. Better stay away from that guy. Or we could go right back in. Because we can get some spaceship data if we examine these terminals. Here we get the Urania. And over here we get the Belena. And as always, I'll be sure to list all of the collectibles down below in the video description. And lastly, oh, where is it? Here we go. We get the Dante de Leon. And I'll bring those up on screen for a quick second here for those of you that are interested. So we, here's the Belena. The Dante de Leon. And the Aramia. Alright, now that we've talked to the captain, we can start doing things around this place that we couldn't do before. That's why I like to talk to him first. So if we go to the northeast corridor over here, this is the shopping district. Hey, game. There we go. And this is the Base Shop Alpha. A neat little thing about Star Ocean games is that every store has its own unique name. Here we could buy some restorative items and some crafting materials, although we don't need anything from her. But we do want to accept orders, and shop orders in this game are basically just errands that the shop clerk sends you on. And if you return the items that they are looking for, you get a little bit of a experience and party SP and money. They're basically like little side quests. I want to go ahead and accept all of these, although we can't complete them all just yet. And to keep track of them, if you go into data and quests, you can see your shop orders here. And across the way, Bay Shop Omega. Alpha and Omega. Really, game? No, I'm just kidding. That's a nice touch. I like those names. Here we got some iron. We're going to turn those in. And the lemon. And these are good for acquiring party SP, as you can see here. Alright, All right, level up for Edge. And Rainy. And phase, and we learned antidote. Okay, now I do want to buy some things. I want to buy two Eldarian bows. You can see here that it increases your critical hit chance. And we'll talk more about factors later on when we have access to the system that allows us to move them around and customize our gear. But essentially, just know that factors exist and they're basically just attributes of items. But yeah, I want to buy two of those for Raimi, one to equip and one for later. And one of each of these skill manuals here. Anthropology for Edge, Botany for Raimi, and Entomology for Phase. And I want to buy five repair kits. First aid I would hold, hold off on. It's a little expensive and it's not really worth it right now. Basically what it does is every time you get hit, you have a small chance of recovering a percentage of that damage back as HP. 
But more importantly, let's talk about those ology skills. So we're going to give that to Edge, Botany to Rainy, and Entomology to Phase. And what these skills do is they text you during recording, apparently. No, they increase the drop rate of certain types of enemies. For example, Entomology will increase the drop rates for insects. But not only does it increase the drop rates for the common items, it also allows you to get a potentially rare item. I'm going to get this up to level 5, because we're going to be needing this in the very near future. And in order for those skills to work, you just have to have them learned and have that character in your active uh, battle party. So if we go to our bestiary for the first time, like everything else, there's a small description of the monster. Some of them are humorous, and a picture along with other miscellaneous information. But on the right there, on the items dropped list, that is listed in order of rarity. The rare items at the top, the more common towards the bottom. And the first item on the list is always no, well, mostly going to be the quote unquote ology drop. And like I just said, in order to get that item, you need to have that skill learned and have that respective person in your party. And right now I just want to level up Phase's Ology skill. We'll worry about Edge and Raimi later. Okay, that's it for shopping, and I'll list all my purchases down below as well. Let's see, now we're going to go here, to the southeast. Hey, how's it going? Uh, sure, we can help you out. And here we get our first actual quest, the missing patient. Hmm, what are, these are weird looking pods. Wait a minute, Eldarians have Enertron technology? But you're still hungry. Hey, at least it's free, right? Alright, let's see here. In order to find the missing patient, we need to go out of the northwest exit. But before we do that, let's go over here. Handsome, huh? What kind of reward? Alright, 10 insect legs. I believe we already have these, so the quest should be completed already. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, um, they're a common drop from the insects, and having Phase's entomology skill will help with that. Whoa. Uh -oh. And just like shop orders, completing side quests will give us a small amount of experience and party SP. Yeah, we don't really need blueberries, plus I'm full on blueberries and I couldn't hold any more anyway. Well, I could think of a better reward. Sure, why not? It's not like we have a choice. Or we do have a choice. Yeah, we'll help her out. Ha ha. Yeah, we don't have eight insect legs, but also like shop orders, you can keep track of your quests, well, in the quest menu. Although, you can't keep track of the progress, unfortunately. For that, you'll have to do it yourself. So let's see, how many do we have, actually? We have four, so we need four more. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, now let's go find this missing, missing patient, rather. <laughs> He's just hanging out over here by the countless. What do you mean to have a look at the ocean? That's a 10 foot wall. Back to the infirmary with you. Can we go to the countless? 
Wait, the bridge was broken. Now it's fixed? You mean I don't have to go look at the bridge and then go back to the castle and then walk all the way across the continent to a town to fetch some random dude and then go back to the castle only to go back to the bridge to look at it to tell them that it really is broken and then go back to the bridge from a different path to watch them fix it to then finally be able to walk back around to where the bridge actually is and cross? Why thank you, game. Yeah, yeah. I like Lufia, but that part of the game is just straight garbage. Well, let's uh let's go check out this bridge. See, this is where the missing patient should have been standing, am I right? Now this would be a good view of the ocean. Yeah, we couldn't go here before because, well, the bridge was out, but now we can't. If we need to get some more insect eggs, we could fight these big guys here. It is a common drop, as I mentioned. Here we get some big berries. And over here on the right, we get protection seeds. Those will increase your character's guard stat by four. The thing about guarding is that, as far as I know, in order to guard, you have to be standing still. So, it's kind of unreliable. And for some reason, seeds are considered a food item. And we're going to hang on to these for a little while. And if we come over here, there's a chest shrouded in darkness. The darkness. Yeah, we can't open that now. Or soon. We're gonna have to come back much later for that one. And if this looks familiar, we're back at the northern coast. And you know what? Let's get into a few battles. Why not? I love the combat in this game. It's so fun. Blindsides feel rewarding when you can actually do them. You've got so many options for offense and defense. And Combo potential, we got juggling, OTGs. It's just ah, oh, it's so fun. It's not like I was holding back, but is this all what? No drops? Rank up. Oh yeah, if I didn't mention earlier, Edge, not Edge, Phase is on the burst beat as well as Raimi. And this would be a good time to actually get some of Phase's battle trophies, although I'm not gonna talk about him very much. Uh, simply because it's impossible to get all of his on your first playthrough. But some of the more tedious ones are to reduce an enemy's HP down to single digits. And he gets a trophy for 1 HP, 2 HP, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. And those can be hard to get because, well, it's really hard to reduce an enemy's HP that low. But his close range attack, where he goes all stabby stabby stab, only hits for single digits, so if you care about getting those, now would be the time. Alright, we'll try one more battle to get some insect eggs, and then we'll go back to the base. Those chime sounds uh, let you know that you get a critical hit. Which just reminded me I should probably equip that new bow on Raimi. Oh, we don't need legs. We need eggs. That's okay. We tried. I'll probably farm those off screen. That's eh, a little better. did get lost here. Oh, man. There we go. Sure, no problem. And for helping her out, we get... We get... Wow, 
Uh oh, Ramy looks pissed. Yeah, we get a little puff puff. Actually, I don't know what we get, but that would be my assumption. That she just gives us a kiss or a hug or something like that. Okay, we need to go. I believe it's down here. Uh, yes. If we examine these monitors, we can get some more spaceship data, this time on Eldarian space, space crafts. English. Anyway, this was the Red Nut. And around here, I believe, we get the Soul. And I believe on this side, there's one more. Yes, the Zagzail. And real quick, I'll pull those up, and if you're interested, you can pause the video. So we got the Zagzail. The Soul. This is what FaZe flew in on back at the beach there. And the Red Nut. We haven't seen this one yet, but we will. We will. Okay, so that's it for side quests for now. Let's go back to the captain. After talking to this girl here. Thanks, Miku. So the commander is this guy right here. You want me to leave my soul with you? Sure, why not? Who needs a soul? I've got new instructions for you. Come. Sir. the Kalnas. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way. The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. The Eldarians' technology far surpasses our own. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick, from this moment on, you're the captain of the new Kalnas. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. The official order should arrive soon. But... Now, let me brief you on your mission. The new duties of SRF-003 Kalnas and her crew are as follows. You will investigate unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Boleth of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? Sir? Oh? 
I thought the three of you were already a team. Yes, sir. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your order, sir. Listen, Mr. Maverick, I know exactly what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I, too, have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leading it. How about it, son? Do you accept? Uh, I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help, Edge. Together, we can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be of service. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but... Thank you. Raimi, FaZe. I am honored to accept the position of Kalnas Captain, sir. Very good. You may launch whenever your preparations are complete. I pray for your journey's success. Sir! But what planet will we go to next? Find out next time! As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kai, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.